So hi everyone, this is Jazz Together from the Achievement Squad, coming at you with a walkthrough for the point and click indie title, Little Kite. This game has a grand total of 15 achievements for the full 1000G. The majority of the achievements in this game are story related, so they're pretty unmissable and a few of them are miscellaneous so that you you can miss them there's also a full spoiler warning in effect from this point onwards because i do show you the game from start to finish and that includes all of the different cutscenes. now there's going to be two things that i'm going to warn you of with this game um, first off this game is actually very emotional um, and it is around domestic violence so as you go through this just bear that in mind um, some of the scenes in this are a little bit difficult to comprehend uh, and it is a very real world problem. The second part that I want to draw your attention to there is a couple of bugs here and there uh, if you find that something glitches out or doesn't look quite right on your screen my recommendation to you is that you uh, drop out back to the main menu and reload your previous save file. Anyway let's get this show on the road. So first things first, um, your child's going to come across and talk to you, you just need to run the conversation through. Um, at this point and click adventure, if you press the Y button, it will show you the items that you can examine and pressing A will help you to engage with them. So our first item of interest that we are going to collect is at the back behind the suitcase on the radiator is a iron bar, bar. you will want to grab this one. Once you've done that, click on the golden statue set on the chair and you're going to have a bit of dialogue with your son. And once you've done that, you'll want to talk to your son about the doll called Conan. I believe it's Conan the Barbarian in this case. So speak to him and then ask about Conan. Okay, so once your conversation is over, you want to double click on the right door. Um, triple clicking will actually cause you to move faster forward through the game. And as you come into this particular section, the first thing that we're going to need to grab is the pipe in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, just behind the hoover. Once you've picked that one up, we want to grab the tomatoes that are underneath the coat and next to this weird microwave looking thing. And once you've done that, you'll want to open up the cupboard on the left hand side. The picture uh, is going to fall down from the top and you'll want to briefly inspect that for a quick cutscene. Okay, so once the cutscene is over, exit left, and then we're going to want to exit left again by going out the door on the other side. And once you're in the kitchen, we're going to need to interact with the cupboard just behind you. Now we're going to need to move some boxes around, so we want to do this by clicking on the box and it's going to slide left or up or down. Select the second box on the right, select the top box on the right, select the top box on the left hand side. Select the second box on the left-handed side. Select the second right box. And once you've done that, select the third right box to move it up. Click on the red box to move it out of the way. Click on your 
second left box to move it down, the second right box to move it across, click on the box below the red box to move it to the right, and then the box below your toy box, click the toy box, the red box, then the box next to the toy, and then you'll want to cycle through the boxes until the toy is in the bottom right hand corner of the cabinet. Once you have done that, you want to exit right and we're going to give the toy to the kid. So to get access to your menu, go up, select the toy, bring it out and give it to the child. Once you've done that, you want to kick on Conan again and he's going to allow you to take Conan uh, and you're going to bag yourself the first achievement for obtaining the legendary sword. This is Conan's sword, I'm assuming. And once you've done that, you want to go back into the kitchen because we are going to make our son a sandwich. So the ingredients for the sandwich on the table is a bread bin. You'll want to open that up first of all and inside you will find, lo and behold, bread. Next to the sink, you can't see it very well but there is lettuce, you'll want to grab this. And then you want to open up the fridge and we're going to grab, uh, apparently it's bacon and cheese. Um, yep, so grab those. Once you've done that, you want to go up into your inventory and we're going to cut some of this stuff up. So using the sword, we want to drag the tomato, the bacon, the cheese and the bread onto the sword to slice it all up. Now that we've done that, we want to grab the lettuce and drop it onto one of the pieces of bread. The tomato on top of the lettuce, the bacon on top of the tomato, the cheese on top of the bacon and then the last piece of bread. We we'll want to go on top of that. Once you've done this, we want to exit via the right hand door, head up into your inventory and you want to give the child his sandwich. Once you've fed Andrew, we want to exit right and we want to go open up the door and that is going to finish this chapter. Okay, so once we are in chapter two and we have control of our character again, we are gonna start this off by talking to Oliver. He's gonna have a bit of dialogue and he's gonna move over to the kitchen. When he goes over to the kitchen, follow him that way. And as you enter the living room, you want to grab the Rubik's Cube that is by the lamp in between the phone. We're going to need that for later on. Once you've got that, you want to enter the door on the left hand side and you will want to talk to Oliver. I think he might be called Oleg again. So once you're done talking to Oliver, step to the left a little bit to trigger a small bit of dialogue uh, and then you'll want to exit through the right door. Uh, and as you come out this door, we want to go out the right door again. And we're going to need to go up into our inventory and we want to combine the two pipes together. And then we're going to use the two pipes on the corner of the dresser just here. Uh, and that's going to uh, prompt a bit of dialogue, but you're not going to get what you're looking for. Now once you've done that, you want to go up into your menu and you want to grab the Rubik's Cube and on the same spot you want to use the Rubik's Cube as a prop for that cabinet. Okay, so once you've done that, you want to exit left and then you want to go back into the kitchen. You want to click on the cupboards above the sink. Notice I left the fridge open from earlier. Uh, but click on the cupboards and you want to grab the pipe that is inside the junk 
it is just here and once you have that pipe you want to combine it with the other pipes to make more of a hook exit right and we're going to go back to the entrance hall and when you're in the entrance hall you want to try out the new hook system on that same corner you'll come to realize that you can't do this on your own Once you've established this, go back into the living room and you want to talk to Andrew and he's going to follow you. Uh, and you need him to follow you back into the entrance hall because he's going to help you grab the box that's underneath. So open up the door on the right, go up into your inventory and grab the pipe again and use it on the corner of the dresser. That is going to lift it up and Andrew will reach in and grab what he needs to grab. So once you have access to the thrift box, it's going to be on the table in the front room. Click on it and we're going to need to solve a bit of a puzzle here. So we need to line up the X with the arrow, so the start and the end uh, all together. And we need to do that by rotating the dials and you rotate the dials by clicking on it. Uh, and you want to follow around uh, and kind of back. You need to use all of the little circles to make the connection. Um, but follow what I do on the screen and you will get yourself set up. Once you're done, you're gonna bag yourself an achievement and it's called We Are Rich. Um, technically, you didn't earn the money if it was in your box, but hey, let's roll with it. So once you're done here, you wanna to exit to the bottom of the screen. You wanna exit left and you'll want to give the money to Oliver. Once the discussion is over with Oliver, grab the bottle of uh, alcohol off the table and you'll want to use it in the sink in the top left hand corner. And that is going to finish this chapter and also bag you the achievement, I am fed. Okay, so we are now kicking off chapter three and we want to start off this one by walking past your dad after the dialogue is run and in the kind of darkness you'll see a red uh, your arrow turn red you want to make your way over to that and you're actually going to pick up a plug socket 
Once you've done that, go up into your inventory. You will need to grab the plug socket from here and use it on the one on the far right hand side. Once you've done that, you then want to use the plug that is next to the socket. Uh, and that's going to cause all of the furniture in front of you to fall to the ground. Once you've done that, you will then want to remove the plug and take the wall socket out again. Um, I'm pretty impressed with this child's um, electrician skills. Make your way across to the other side and you want to open up the cupboard and inside the cupboard you're actually going to find a screwdriver. Uh, that screwdriver we're going to need to use to open up one of the panels on the wall. So grab that out and you want to go up into your inventory again. Grab the screwdriver and then on the right hand side there is a loose panel. You'll need to use your screwdriver on this twice to reveal the electrical socket. So once you've done that, we then want to take the socket that we have in our inventory and use it on the wall. You'll then want to grab the plug that is on the floor and that is going to open a small gap by the TV. Make your way through this door. Okay, so we need to kick off the start of this next section by playing with the valves. And the objective here is to overload the uh, the boiler at the top. So you want to do this by clicking on the valves and eventually the little red, uh, sorry, the, the little thing is going to move over into the red section. Uh, once you've done that, that's going to trigger a little bit of a cutscene where Oliver appears. Once that's done, you want to make your way over to the right hand side. Oliver is going to follow you and now we're going to need to pick up our next achievement by interacting with him. So when he gets over here, you want to click on him and you want to exhaust all of the uh, discussions options that you have here. Uh, I believe the one is mom that primarily triggers the achievement that we're looking for, but go through all topics and, and you should bag yourself that achievement. So next up we're going to interact with the bird cage and the particularly part of the bird cage is the padlock down in the corner. We want to uh, enter three specific symbols. So the first symbol that we need to find is family. The second that we need to find is the arrow pointing to the right. Uh, and the third symbol that we need to find is the strong man. Now if you're wondering where these uh, particular symbols are found, uh, in this section, there are little post-it notes dotted around the area that explain this. However, the code is always the same so far. So once you've entered that, that's going to get you your next achievement. And once that's done, you want to grab the plug that is just sat in the middle of the floor here, and you want to use it on the socket to your right. That's going to open up this stairwell, and you want to exit to the right of the screen. Once we're now in this section, so this is the third part of the dad chapter, make your way down a little bit and you're going to see a trike that is in the bottom half of the screen. On top of that trike there is a, uh, or tricycle, depending on where you're from, there is a pipe. You want to grab that one. Once you've done that you want to start making your way to your right and there's going to be a little cutscene where you see your dad again.
And once you've had this little cutscene, we'll then want to uh, grab the masking tape that is off of the top just here. Uh, it's a little bit fiddly for me to pick up, but it's on top of the counter. Once you've done that, you want to open up the uh, cupboard underneath. And inside, you want to take the bottom left socket. Once you've done that, to your left, you're going to see another drawer. You want to open that up, and you're going to see a picture on the inside. Grab the paper clip off of the type top right hand corner. You'll now need to get the paper clip out of your inventory and you want to use it on the birthday cake in the middle of the table. And once you've done that you'll then want to click on the plug that is to the left of the table on the carpet. And then you'll want to select the carpet again and that is going to cause the corner to unfold. Click on the socket uh, in your inventory and you want to use that on the corner of the carpet. I had to do this twice, it's a bit weird, it didn't work this way, but drop the socket into the hole and then plug the plug in. That's going to turn on the left on the right hand side of the screen. So once you've done that, you want to press the button next to the drawers where we found the uh, paper clip and that's going to take you up one floor. Once we are at the top, you'll want to click on the water jog, the jug, jog that is in the middle of the plank and you're going to get a bit of dialogue from Andrew once you've done that to the left of Andrew you are going to see a iron bar on top of a box we'll be wanting to pick that up and add it into our inventory now that you've got this you want to click the button to go back down in the lift you'll then need to come down into the foreground and down the stairs Start making your way to the left towards this drain uh, and you're going to see a uh, another water bottle. You'll want to click on the pump on top of that. That's going to take the pump off. Once you've done that, you want to go up into your inventory and we want to take the pump and combine it with the pipe. Take that newly combined item and mix it with the other pipe and then mix the pump with the tape to get the complete full thing. And once you've done that, you want to make your way <coughs> to the right and we are going to go back up in the lift. Once you're back at the top in the lift, we want to go into the inventory. And we're going to grab up our new funky pump system and we're going to use it on the water bottle. For some reason, uh, he says it doesn't work for me. I think I might have put it on the wrong thing. So I do it twice just to be sure. Uh, but yeah, the pump goes on the water bottle and once you've done that, use the pump to drain the water bottle, making it light enough to move. And then you will want to move it to the left three times. Once you've done that, you want to interact with this thing, metal thing in the middle. You want to click the button on the right three times so that it ends up in the middle of that particular section. Once you've done that, go up into your inventory and you're going to grab the hot paper clip out and you're going to use it on this ball inside this uh, contraption just here. Once you've done that, that's going to pop the balloon and then you want to throw the switch on the left twice. This will cause the kite to fall out of the sky and you want to pick that one up and it's going to bag you the achievement little kite or for finding your kite and we are going to need to head back downstairs to see our dad so use the lift and you want to make a make your way to the right hand side of the screen So once you're in this section, you just need to keep walking to the right. You'll need to speak with your dad when you encounter him. Uh, but once you've done that, just keep going right till the very end and exit out through the closet.
Once you've exited out of the closet, you want to exit out of the door on the right hand side. And that is going to finish this particular section. Uh, and we're back in the kitchen with mum. Okay, so once we're in control of Mary again, we're going to need to grab the stove, uh, the kettle off of the stove. Once we've done that, there are some matches on the table just behind you. We're going to want to pick these up too. Go into your inventory and grab out the matches and you want to use that on the stove. Once you've done that, just above the stove is a uh, cutlery rack. You want to take the cutlery off by clicking on it. And once you've done this, you want to grab the kettle and you want to use it on the tap in the background. You've got to turn the tap on first though. Uh, so drag that down and fill it up with water. Once you've got your kettle done, take the kettle, drop it on the stove and we are going to boil our water. Okay, so once it is boiled, you want to pick that up. We're going to need to open the top freezer. And once you're in here, you want to grab the kettle out of there and you want to use it inside the freezer to get a metal plate. Once you have that metal plate, look into your inventory and we want to use it on the rack that was holding the cutlery. And that's going to remove the steel bar off of the wall. Now you need to try and exit the kitchen. Once you've done that, you want to grab the bar out of your inventory and you want to use it on the bottom part of the door. That is going to knock the broom out the way. You'll then need to exit the kitchen. And the first thing that we're going to do in the next room is we're going to want to use the phone. You also get the achievement break free. Uh, but head over to the phone and you want to use that one and you'll want to dial 911. Okay, once that has happened and you've got your achievement for that, exit to the right and then you want to exit out of your apartment. Okay, so we are now outside the apartment in the uh, chapter called Little Kite. We want to kick this one off by grabbing the pipe that is in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Once you have that we want to exit out of the top of the screen or the right, same thing. Uh, and we're going to see a repairman. Now we want to click on the repairman's toolbox and we want to get his um, wire cutters. And we want to grab a, uh, a spanner or wrench depending on where you're from uh, out of the, the box. Once you have that, we're going to need to do a quick backtrack to the uh, front door of our flat. We'll then want to take the spanner and you'll want to use that on the pedals of the bike that is in front of your doorway. That's going to unleash the pedal for you. Once you've done that, take the pedal back out of your inventory and we want to use it on the electrical box above the bike. Once you've done that, there is a switch on the inside. You'll want to pull that switch. That will turn off the, the uh, power. Grab your wire cutters and then you'll want to use it on the stray wires on the bottom of the box. Once you've done that, return, return back to the repairman. Once you're here, you want to give him back the pliers, uh, or nippers as they call them in this game, which is a new one for me. Uh, and then you want to give him his wrench as well. 
Once you've done that, you want to exit and we want to go down one floor. And then the screwdriver you're looking for is in the corner here. You just want to pick that one and up and then we're going to go down one more floor. Go down a floor again and again and we're going to be in the lobby. Now take the pipe out of your inventory and use it on the wooden plank on the right hand side of the screen. Once you've done that we want to go back upstairs to the second floor. Now that you're on your second floor grab the plank and you want to drop that into the uh, the garbage chute on the right hand side and then we're going to go all the way back up until we reach our repairman friend again. So like before we want to take his wire cutters one more time um, but he's not going to let you go downstairs with them and we need to take them downstairs. So once he has allowed you to borrow them again, open up the garbage chute that is on the right hand side of the screen and we're going to throw in his pliers. Now don't make the mistake I did where I try to use it on the garbage chute because that won't work. You need to open it first and then use the pliers. Once you've done that, make your way back down to the second floor. Once you are on the second floor, grab the pliers off of the plank and make yourself way downstairs one more time. Step over to the right hand side of the screen by the mailbox, take the pliers out of your inventory and use it on this uh, thing in the bottom right hand corner. I don't know what it is, but use it. And then you wanna go back up to floor number three. Once you're on floor number three, you wanna go into your inventory, you wanna grab your screwdriver and use it on this box by the sink. Once you've done that, go up and grab your pliers from your inventory and use it on the same box to get your third wire cutting. Once you've done that, make your way back up to floor number five. Now be ready for one of the most confusing bugs in the game. So open up the grate to the lift and then in the background you'll see the icon go red. Click on it. The lift is supposed to be here but it's not. So head up into your inventory and you want to grab your screwdriver out and use it on this panel. This is going to open up a small kind of puzzle where you've got to connect the red light to the switched off light in the top right hand corner. Uh, and we've got to do it with the three wires that we used earlier in the game. Um, so just copy what I do here and place the wires into the same place. Now, I have a bit of a blip here where I actually start a, a conversation uh, with the repairman. You don't need to, um, but this also for repairing the lift, you get the technician thing. Go back into your invisible lift and click on the invisible panel again and click on number six. That is going to send you up to the highest floor in the building with the exception of the roof. Once you're up here, you want to make your way to the left and in the bottom left hand corner, you are going to find a calculator you are going to need to pick that one up. And now we need to use the safe on the back wall. On the first row, we are going to need to enter the number 324. 
and for those of you that are interested these numbers are listed uh, on each floor you can find them engraved in the walls and that kind of stuff on each level of the uh, the building in the second row you want to enter the number 116 For the third row, you want to enter 425. And for the last row, you'll want to enter the numbers 614. So once that's done, you want to grab the torch out of the safe and you want to combine the screwdriver with both the torch and the calculator. Once you've done that, you want to click the button on the edge of the lift to summon the lift and you actually finally get it to appear this time and you can see the invisible panel that you fixed uh, that you fixed without knowing that it was there. Get into the lift and we want to go down to floor number three. Now that you're on the third floor, you want to grab the batteries out of your inventory and you want to chuck them into the radio that's there and this is going to act as a distraction for the guys upstairs that are blocking one of the uh, boxes that you need access to. So they're called hooligans and the two hooligans come downstairs to listen to the music and the hooligan makes the statement of this music touches my soul. Uh, normally I associate hooligans to uh, violence with baseball bats and not music that speaks to your soul. Anyway, we want to go back up one floor. So go to the fourth floor this time. And you'll now be able to reach one of the uh, boxes that you weren't able to reach before. And to open up this one, we're going to need to click on this just here. So for this puzzle we need to make sure all the buttons stay in, certain buttons will make everything else pop back out again and we're going to go column by column. So the first column click the first square, you then want to click the second square and then you'll want to click the fourth square. In the second column click the top square, you want to click the third square and you want to click the last square. In the third column you want to click the first square, you want to click the third square and the fourth square. In the fourth column you want to click the top square, you want to click the second square and the fourth square and the fifth square. In the last column you want to click the second square, the square below that and then the square in the bottom right hand corner. This will open up the cabinet and you'll be able to grab the key. So take the key out here and then we need to get back into the lift and we're going to take that up to floor number six. Okay, now we are on the top floor. Grab the key from your inventory and open up the door at the top of the ladder. This is going to give you roof access. However, in this case, we're not actually going to stay there for particularly long. Um, the repairman kind of forces you to go out onto the roof somehow uh, without your consent. Anyway, re-enter the building and we're going to want to go all the way down to the first floor using the lift. Once you're down here, we want to make our way across to the left and we want to exit out of the front door. Now, as you come out here, we will want to click on the belt that is hanging from the jeans on the uh, drying clothesline. Speak to the lady on the bench and we want to ask her specifically um, about her clock. Now, actually, you need to look at her clock first before you speak to her. Apologies, a small little blip here. But um, so. I have to end the conversation, the clock is next to her. Inspect the clock and then talk to her. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, once the conversation's over, we need to make our way back up to the roof. So enter the lift and make your way all the way to the top. When you're on the roof on the right hand side of the screen you'll see a button that you can push. Hit that one up and then you want to make your way over. So the character will obviously move over automatically. I don't really know what I'm saying here. Uh, but go into your inventory and grab the belt out of your inventory. And we want to use that on the wheels on the left hand side of this machine. Once the belt's on click the button and that is going to bring down a uh, pulley device um, which has got a bag and a sack on it you'll want to pick up the sack and then in the bag you're going to find a key so interact with both items on this conveyor belt once you've done that we are going to make our way back downstairs one more time so go all the way down to the ground floor and outside of the building Once you're here, you want to grab the key that is at the top and you want to use it on the box to the right of the door. That is going to open up this cabinet just here. We're going to need to move these little devices to the right and the left, um, but the three slots, we need to have a white, green and purple colored pin inside of them. So complete that for both uh, lines just here. Um, yeah, a white, green and purple pin in each uh, little thing So once we've done that, we want to make our way back up to the fifth floor. And once we're on the fifth floor, go to the left and we're going to go back into our apartment. Once you're in your apartment, you want to make your way to the left and you're going to want to use your phone. And this time around, we're going to dial a different number that is not 911. We are going to dial 27474. So that's 27474. Okay, once that's over, we want to exit out of the building. Uh, sorry, out of the apartment, not out of the building. Make your way back to the lift and we want to go back up onto the roof. Once you're in the roof, you want to talk to the repairman, and he is uh, going to be playing games on his phone. 
Fun fact, uh, the phone that he has actually requires real electricity to run. Uh, but once you're done talking with him, we're going to use the sack that we picked up from the conveyor belt earlier. And we're going to use that on the stack of coals in the back here and we're going to fill that up. Take that coal bag and we want to use it in the gutter on the bottom left hand side of the screen. And that's going to create a load of gravel fall down and kind of slightly distract the old lady. So now we need to grab the sack and use it on the coal again and then we need to combine that sack with the screwdriver. Now unfortunately I get a little bit ahead of myself here and I try and do something that I can't do yet because I need to trigger something to happen. So don't use the uh, sack of gravel on the gutter. You actually want to make your way back down outside to where the old lady is. Once you're back down here, you want to interact with the uh, repairman's car and you'll get a bit of dialogue around actually kind of hitting it to sound the car alarm off. Uh, yeah. Anyway, once you've done that, you want to enter the apartment building again, go all the way back up to the roof. Now that you're on the roof, you want to use the coal sack on the gutter in the bottom left hand corner and that is going to set a uh, chain of sound off here. That's going to distract the old lady. Go back down and outside of the building one more time. When you're down here, you want to adjust the clock that is on the bench next to the old lady. And that's going to cause her to go back to her room. Now this is over, you want to click on the car and that is going to set off the alarm. You get yourself an achievement for being hooligans uh, and you want to enter the building one more time. The repairman's now come downstairs. You want to make your way back up to the roof. Once you're on the roof, there are three antenna that you need to interact with. So you need to move them uh, and that is going to summon a kite to uh, guide you to where your child is. Actually, to be honest, it's actually to disrupt the TV and get Oliver's attention. This will actually um, complete this chapter uh, and you'll bag yourself an achievement uh, story related at this point in time. So reconnect with you after this cutscene.
Okay, so once that is over, we want to make our way back down to our apartment. So enter the uh, doorway, go into the lift, and you're automatically going to go down to your front of your apartment. Make your way inside, and then click on the first aid kit that is by the front door. Once you have patched yourself up, we want to exit out of the building and we want to make our way to the right uh, and we want to keep going out of our apartment. Once you're out of our apartment, you want to go exit off of the bottom of the screen. This is going to take you through to the next area, which is a long winded process to cross the road when you probably can anyway. So behind you, there's a screwdriver. You want to pick that up. Above it, you want to take the light cover off the wall. There is a toy by the edge of the road that you'll need to pick up. And then by the window amongst the rubbish, you are going to find the crowbar. Once you have the crowbar, you guys are going to need to inspect the traffic light. And this is going to reveal to you that the traffic light is broken. Pretty sure you could cross this road anyway. In the UK, that is technically a zebra crossing. Click on the arrow uh, and it's going to give you a light bulb. Take that light bulb, sorry, take the crowbar and you want to try it on the vent that is to the right of the, uh, the arrow. And she's going to say that she's scared to get electrocuted. Open up the uh, dumpster and inside the dumpster, you're going to find a tire. Take the screwdriver and mix that with the tire to reveal the rubber. Take the rubber and mix that with the crowbar and that's going to make the crowbar safe to use. Now using the light bulb you want to click on the traffic light. We're actually going to discover here that the, the bulb that we've just picked off of the thing is still broken regardless of whatever we do. I'm surprised the standard bulb fits a traffic light anyway. So. Once that's happened, click off of the traffic light, click back onto the arrow to uh, inspect it. I get a little bit excited here and use the crowbar on the vent, that's a little bit too soon. Uh, inspect the arrow first of all and Mary will give you some dialogue about how the most effective way to check the bulbs. Um, and once you've done that, you then need to use your crowbar on the vent that is going to expose some electrical wiring. Take that wire by clicking on it and it's going to plug it into the arrow. Take the bulb out of the arrow. Click on the traffic light and then you will want to use the bulb that you have in your inventory on the traffic light. And then you'll want to use the cover for the uh, light that you took, you know, the cover that you picked up earlier. You'll want to use that on the traffic light. Wait a few seconds uh, and something is going to happen and you're going to bag yourself the Bloodlight Achievement. So once that's over, you want to cross over the road uh, and you're going to be in this area. You just need to keep walking right. And once you make it to the end of this section, Andrew will show up. You'll bag yourself your achievement and you'll complete the game. I've been Jastic here from the Achievement Squad. If you find this guide useful, drop us a like, comment and subscribe. And happy hunting.